With its rousing spirit, glorification of youthful idealism, and just plain great storytelling, Walt Disney Pictures' latest release, Iron Will, recalls classic adventures like Treasure Island and Call of the Wild. Director Charles Hayes says that if it reminds you of those classics, it's no accident. That's what Iron Will is to me. It's taking that story that I loved so much as, as a, an adolescent boy, a pre-adolescent boy, and putting it on the screen. Mackenzie Aston plays Will Stoneman, a young man who enters a grueling 500-mile dog sled race in order to save his mother's home. You know, Will's father dies right before his eyes, and there's nothing, there's nothing he can do to change that. I mean, he has to assume the, the, the male role in the family and, and, and you know, try to do anything he can to, to, to bring to bring in the money to save this house. Mom, he was gonna do this for me. Now let me do it for him. I let him race. He won't last through the first day. I'll last as long as any man here, including you, mister. The race pits Will against awesome natural forces and dangerous competitors. When you get the frostbite, you call me. I cut off anything you want. No charge. The cast and crew of Iron Will were also challenged to beat the odds. In fact, the making of Iron Will was almost as great an adventure as the story it tells. First day of shooting, 28 degrees below zero. Everything on the entire production was frozen shut. I mean, they're beating on things with hammers to try to get them open. There were a lot of things to overcome. To do the making of the movie is the movie. It's just exactly what the main character has to go through. $10,000, Will. You don't have to die for it. In addition to the cold, the crew had to deal with shooting days that could involve as many as 98 sled dogs, an extremely valuable antique steam engine, and a distressing lack of snow in Minnesota where the film was shot. This has been the coldest, wettest winter in the history of this country since 1953, but in Minnesota, the mildest. And of course, we are right here. Tons of the frozen stuff had to be trucked in to the various locations, and when a snowstorm was needed, special effects crews used potato flakes to create an artificial storm. While the dogs feasted on the fake snow, the human actors had to be flocked like Christmas trees. In about five minutes, someone's going to come around and hang ornaments. Charles Hayde did his part to keep morale up despite the hardships of the production. The cast and crew also found inspiration in the story they were telling. I think one of the reasons why this movie might touch people is because we all have that sense of wanting to achieve something that everybody tells us we can't. Will, you can't go on now. Enough is enough. I'm going to get a doctor. No. I am one day short of the finish line, and not you or anyone else is going to stop me. Will's journey becomes a quest. He has taken on the impossible and must find the courage to finish what he has begun, to live up to his own sense of honor, to simply do his best. The ending of the film is worthy of this rip-roaring American adventure story. One that will have audiences cheering and believing that miracles are possible when you make them happen. Iron Will, from Walt Disney Pictures.